Hi there, welcome to the next chapter of Premiere Pro Tutorial, Chapter 5. And today I want to go to cropping effects and I want to show you how you can crop some pictures, videos, and how you can actually use mask to crop uh, special parts of your video and something like that. So imagine we, we have a kind of picture and I want to bring it to my folder and this is the picture that I have. And two guys are actually with... Uh, a, a kind of orange background I want to crop some parts of this picture or even I want to crop the guy with blue t-shirt or maybe the guy with black t-shirt so I want to show you how I can crop uh, these two people separately or maybe together how can I uh, even just cut some parts special parts bottom of that right side left side uh, so for that you can see that there is a picture like this and when I put it to the topest layer I mean the one, the one that is above uh, all the layers, there will be something like this. I cannot see any other layers, you know that why, because this layer is on the top of the other ones. Uh, so for cropping, today I'm going to show you two main cropping uh, effects and two main cropping tools. One of them is the, with the crop itself and one of them with masking. So for that, you should come to this uh, small symbol, I don't know again what we call that. Uh, when I come here, there is something like effects. You go to the effects and in here we have something like video effects and in further videos in uh, next videos I will start working on these effects one by one and I show you what they do they do different kinds of things you can do great things with these video effects and uh, I will handle them one by one in uh, further videos uh, we will work uh, different kinds of video effects on different kinds of pictures and videos and in future so in here we type crop and as you see there is something like a crop effect and I will bring it on my uh, layer on the picture that I want which is here there will be something added to the uh, effect controls which is called crop so when I click on crop you see that there is a kind of square there is a rectangular actually around my picture and these blue small circles actually circle squares are in the way that you can uh, work with them and change the size of your picture and crop from uh, different angles um, for example from here there it, it doesn't matter where it depends on you for example I want to crop from right side when I do that you see it is cropping from right side and the other layers that are behind my picture which is here are being visible so if I do that up to here for example you can see that this picture or this video which is in the next layer which is below my picture layer will be visible and if I do that again and from top side so I'm cropping my picture uh, like this and then I can somehow change the crop position by pushing this small square or big square around wherever I want so I can show uh, the specific part of that picture or that video or that layer on my screen so for example I want here so you may think that how can I move this person? You actually need to come to uh, the picture itself and come to the motion. So if you uh, stay on crop and you move this square, only the places that you have cropped will move right, left, top, down. But if you want to move the picture itself, you have to come to uh, motion and then you can click on the picture and then you can see that you can bring it wherever you want. So in this case, you can uh, turn your picture right you can bring it right you can bring it left so whatever you want so sometimes you may think with yourself that how is this possible that for example I uh, cut around the person I don't want to have these orange places I don't want to have this blue person if you don't want to have this blue person blue t-shirt person you can crop it like this then he is gone but actually you can see let me make it a bit bigger in a zoomed way yes as you can see here I don't want to have such such color or I don't want to have these orange colors and uh, around this person I want to somehow uh, delete these colors I want to crop exactly like uh, the shoulder of this person the face and the head of this person I don't want to have these orange colors so that's easy let's get back to fit uh, view situation and uh, in that you can come to something like opacity in opacity there is um, something like a circle and a square and this free draw bezier so 
when you click on it you can come here you do a bit of zooming and you can see if you start masking actually the masking start happening You know, this uh, double side uh, arrow actually shows that you can turn it right or left. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm f I'm uh, just putting these squares so um, I can make my picture somehow cropped in the way that I want to crop it. You need to make sure that uh, these two sides uh, arrow actually uh, doesn't appear in front of you because until the time that it appears it doesn't do anything but it turns your mask places so I'm not gonna do that and I should come until I see this pen or pencil this, this actually this shape so that it shows me that I can add another square I should co come here for example if you see that no you have to go forward until this symbol appears then that's it as you can see the crop actually happens why the crop happened because i connected the last uh, square small square to the first small square and the crop happened so how can i make it better how can i uh, make it more detailed how can i just add more crop so that i don't see these small orange colors and these uh, mountain shape places they are the, the ones that have angle how can i curve them so that's easy all of these small squares actually have a kind of effect so if you click on one of them but before clicking you need to keep alt button on your keyboard and then something like that happens something like uh, a kind of mountain shape the peak of a mountain comes on this square when you click on that there will be two small squares two small dots top side and outside downside when you just do this you see that you can add curve shapes to your picture and mask places actually so when you do this and here I just don't want to have that you can just easily drag this square down to make it uh, curved or you can add another square small square like this for example or you can add another small square like this by adding these squares uh, move them by clicking and keeping your left mouse bottom and pushing them up down left right so uh, something like a cropping happens so I don't want to do that I want to for example change this angle in here and make it a bit curved again I press uh, alt bottom and I keep it then this symbol this one actually uh, comes up and then I click one left mouse bottom and then I come to these two small let me make it a bit zoom you can see these two small uh, dots somehow these two small field circles blue color so I can do this some something like this I can do then it will be something like a curve shape and I will push this one like this put an alt here and again I make it curved so I don't want it to have an angle and I go back to fit view situation and then yeah that's it somehow I did a crop in the way that I don't have those uh, orange colors and I can even give some effects around it again I, I can come to the mask you know actually mask is added to your uh, effect control panel so then you can see there is something like mask and there's something like crop you can even delete crop so the video actually the picture video whatever you have cropped it before will get back to the previous position to its default setting actually so in mask you can see that I can do different kinds of things like mask feather how by doing such a uh, movement changing these numbers from for example 10 0 to 100 or 100 as much as you want it depends on you for example if I leave it like this and then you can see there is some kind of faded way there is a kind of shadow it makes it somehow like a ghost shape and uh, this is a th this is a kind of effect you can give to that or maybe you can again come to the mask part and 
choose something else like mask opacity it makes that um, somehow more visible or invisible even you see so I want that to be a hundred percent visible I don't change the opacity and ma uh, mask expansion actually we have so you can uh, get those parts back to the normal get those parts I mean the parts that you've cropped with the small squares can get them back to the default setting actually like this or maybe you can uh, make that tighter and tighter so just this amount could be visible so it depends all on you you can make that beautiful you can make that more effective uh, you can change all of these features based on you and based on your own taste even so this is what we did so now I want to change the position then I come to the motion and I bring it somewhere like for example this and in this way I just want to keep it let me uh, make this layer a bit smaller You know, something that I uh, actually was supposed to tell you in previous session, but actually somehow I forgot it. Uh, you know, let me go back to the previous settings. Imagine this is your text layer. In previous session, I showed you how to put some keyframes on that and um, how to make it move on your screen. But sometimes you may think with yourself that in this part of the video if you go a bit further you see it is not a good place it is not a good location for your a lawyer for your text you want to change it i i offer you not to move it wherever you want while the keyframes are on so if you want to change um lawyer's position i mean the text position it's better to get back to your first keyframing and the last part i mean the last dot the last place that you've put the keyframe so when you get back there and you click on it this dot this blue circle this white circle actually must turn to blue when it turns to blue which means that you have chosen the exact place that you've put the keyframe and nothing else will be added that one will be changed then I can change it for example I can change the position to this part and I can make it smaller then my text actually this layer will go from here to there without going up or without any other changes or something else you want uh, your layer or your text be here and after this period of time it moves from here to the left or to the middle again or uh, at the top of this video again so first you should add uh, another keyframe which means that you start keyframing and start the movement from here you go a bit forward and then you will bring the position for example down to here for example so the keyframes are added you see I come back there was something like the key framing in here and the crypto studio was here then I pushed it from here to the right corner like this I didn't want it to go up and actually as you saw I changed the scale of that I made it a bit, sm a bit smaller then from right top side it comes to the down left side like this and this is what I did and as you can see this is the part that we brought our picture and let me change the position and I bring it somewhere like this for example I have cropped the picture like, like that somehow so it was for today in uh, next chapters actually we start working on video effects there are lots of video effects in here or as you can see these are all video effects and they all do different kinds of things on your video we will cover all of them one by one and we, I will show you how they affect on your video and what happens if you bring them on your lawyer thanks for watching all these tutorials send them to others who need them and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification button thanks for joining crypto studio see you later